Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Okay, today, since there is an event going on, two events going on, now the right now is brand off since terminal cost 50% off and the gatekeeper and brand free removal. So I would like maybe to give you how I manage the brand that, that get full in your storage first so basically you just sell the one to four star brand because it's no use to keep up five star below brand and you primary if it's a flat stat just immediately sell it because flash that mostly don't contribute to your demand status at all mostly but there is some case that the flat stat give more maybe i don't know and the soup i sell none and physical flat i know you should see it one by one but since i'm lazy i'm just selling the five star brand because i want to upgrade my team so i don't want to use the five star brand if can anymore but since i am no sometimes i use the five star brand because the five star brand maybe contain the good substance better than the five, six star brand maybe that's a special case yeah just sell it so i will leave the six star brand alone and we'll just see the substat if i need that and after i'm showing you this clearing the storage space I will give you some advice about how to priority farming the brand of sin. So if you are an early player in this game, I highly recommend you to farming in DC 10 first. Why DC time? Be or DC nine or DC eight or lower floor. But I highly recommend with the DC ten brand of sin team. After you can complete the DC ten, you will get most likely a what brand. What what brand is really the most wanted brand after Define? Because Define Ward is so useful, all of the demon in the DX2 mostly use a set of Define Ward. Because Define is for the plus 1 MP recovery and the Ward is for immunity, the protection again the element team so you need to use to farm the brand of sin dc to get this what brand to immunity and for define it's an rng you should farm our get 46 to 50 floor to get a drop of define brand or maybe you are a whale you can just buy the brand cube pack but if you are an F2P player, you should farming the Aura get to get the Defines brand. Because honestly, most of the demon in here use Define what set. For the Magical Nuker, especially. But for the Strength Psychal Nuke demon, they use different brand. Maybe they can use a War. Called a life brand and a war and a life brand is an 
in digit 10 as on slot but eh, if you want to farm slot 10 you should farm digit 10 first because in this seat, you need the work brain to avoid getting ailment in the slot lane because slot lane lucifer states has the mad king passive that boosts the ailment rate on the king the lucifer so if you want to give immunity on your team you should farm the work brain first after you can farm the work brain you will move to slot 10 and in the slot 10 you need a light spammer but in dc 10 you can choose it with either strength physical team or you can choose it with the magical nuker the ignore the pierce magic like go to hell in black force like true wind pierce or maybe the thor the mjolnir and huang long is highly recommend on all of the states of brain of sin because Wang Long has five element five element is crazy as you can see for the slot then I will change the tour to this to my like spammer the Mahamount the Mahamadine spammer my Metatron with Metatron Aragami Metatron and in brain of sin slot 10 if you are an F2P player, you can use Sleipnir with Resist Fire, of course. And because the Lucifer has an innate skill, Trisagion, Trisagion is a fire element skill that will break Sleipnir if Sleipnir don't, don't cover his weakness again, fire. And you can use the Horus. Highly recommend the Purple Horus because Purple Horus is a, has a light boost. If I don't get it wrong, and the purple mermaid for the infinite chakra and the red sandal pond for the light boost and Mahamount spammer. But since I have better demon, I use the better demon first because I have Alice, Alice, my Alice equipped with Hammond L, and maybe I will consider to make my Metatron with light boost and yeah just get rid of eggy i use eggy because i need the i need metatron in the january kiwami the black force and since then i haven't changed back my metatron so as you can see this state is full of ailment and you need to move first see all the element that cast by the lucifer and the trisagion nuke is really big here come the morning star nuke but that's fine The Lucifer will get killed by her his cell because he will cast Megidolan or Morningstar and get repel back to him. And that's it. You can chase it with 5 elements from Huang Long. So, that's the rule. You should farm this item first to get the Ward Burn. After that, you move to the slot lane to get the life and war. For your physical team, for your higher biker team, for your defense arena team. So, in defense, there is a lot of physical nuker like Masakado and Funky using the life brand, and life brand only obtainable from the Aura Gate, the Weller if you buy pack, and from slot 10. So, after you can from slot 10, DC 10 easily, you move the Vanity 10. To get the offset brand the offset brand here is yeah as you can see the aim the aim brand for that i will make sure to use my bell zebub i six star him 
for solely purpose to defeat the Vanity 10 boss. And in Vanity 10, it's a counterpart from the descent from the slot 10. The slot 10, you need a Hama caster. In Vanity 10, you need a Dark caster. Because Quetzal calls the boss weakness again Dark skill. So make sure you bring the Dark spammer here. Hmm. In this case, if you want an F2P team for DC 10, for Vanity 10, I mean, you can use Belzebub. A healer like Pazuzu is nice with resist ice, of course. And you can use a fire travel and windmill like Garuda because Garuda has that affinity against fire travel and windmill. But I will just go YOLO, not using a healer. And my Belzebub is equipped with Mudon L and Defined Brand, so my Belzebub can always spam that dark skill. Oh yes, my Belzebub is in Defined Broken Set. Why I use Chu? Because my Chu has an affinity null win. Because the Quetzal Code has the Mazanden and Maragidan, so it's obviously if you bring the demon that can null fire or win to waste the press turn icon on the Quetzal Code on the boss. And bring the Dark Spammer. And the Quetzal Code is a bit annoying because he has an Auto Lydia. And my Alice is dumb. He never cast the Mudodine skill, the Mudon skill. And the Sphinx create me with Mortal Jihad. That's sad. Five element is up. And my Alice still casting the Hama on L. That's sad. Oh, why my Belzebub not casting Mudonel? Oh, Silent Prayer to get rid of five element and the Warp Brain. Okay, Mudodine. Okay, see, I set this return maybe. Oh no, no oh, CA chatis. Okay, here get come the CA chatis. Okay, Mamudon spam from Alice. Okay, Glutoni spam from Belzebub. Mazandine spam, Mamudodine die. Okay, that's it. That's my Vanity 10 team. So the order here is farm the DC 10 first after you, you have a strong enough brand for what brand you can move to slot 10 to find your war or life brand after you can farm slot 10 maybe if you want to get the aim brand or the lead brand you can Farm Infinity 10. Maybe that's the order. And the most important thing, don't forget to farm the Aura Gate for Defense Brand. Maybe that's all for Brand of Sin, Demon Buster. Thank you very much for your attention. See you in the next DX2 video.